So as I'm sure you are aware, there are some changes to the exams in 2022. And what the exam boards have been told to do, what the governments have been told to do, is to give advanced information of what is going to be happening um, in the exams. So advanced information about what is going to be in the exams. So this is going to be happening on the 7th of February, so next year, so quite a way away. But what we got this week was notice of advanced information of what's going to be in the exam. So I'm going to go through what the exam boards have said, but if you guys have any particular subjects, then I have the, um, hi guys, I have the, the whole, a very long, how many pages is it? Oh, it's not what I wanted to do. I have the very long, very, very long, hi guys. At the moment, exams, I'm pretty sure they're still going to go ahead. Um, I have the very long document here, so I will either just go through it, but if you guys have any particular subjects that you want me to look up, AQA, Biology and Chemistry, is that A-level or GCSE? Because it's very different. Um, then I will just read out the information for you. So this is a kind of like um, common across the exam boards. So if we're going to be looking at Biology A-level. So Biology A-level. Uh, Advanced information, this is biology uh, A level, provided a list of four to eight topics from the specification to be assessed on each paper. This list will be in rank order by overall contribution to the mark for the paper with the topic with the most marks listed first. So you'll get a list of topics and whatever topic is, um, so that was just biology, and whatever topic is um, most marks on the paper has most um, like marks for the paper that will come first. Topics not, and this is a really really important bit for A level biology. Topics not included on the list may still be assessed in low tariff, multiple choice, or synoptic questions. So basically, they're going to give you the list of topics that anything not on that list might still be assessed. So really, really useful guys. This is the list of topics where a specific topic area includes questions directly linked to the relevant practical. Um, this will be indicated against the topic. And that is common for all A-level sciences. So for A-level sciences, what they're going to do is give you a list of four to eight topics. The topic that comes at the top of that list is going to be the one that has the most marks on the paper. But anything not on that list might also still come up. Really, really useful there, guys. Thank you very much. And then for science GCSE, it is going to be very similar. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so they're going to give a list of all examined components for foundation and for higher tiers. List of topics from the specification will form the assessment of the focus on each paper in specification order. So not in um, question order. So the topic that comes top of the list is not going to be question one, but that just might be the, the specification order. That might just be topic one on the specification. Topics not included on the list for assessment may still appear in low tariff or linked content questions. So anything not on that list might also appear on the papers. Really, really helpful. Thank you. Assessment of practical skills, mathematical skills and working scientifically skills will occur throughout the papers as usual. Students will still be expected to apply their knowledge to unfamiliar contexts. So lots of um, stuff going to be in there. So A-level sociology. So let's go back to the list, uh, A-level sociology, advanced information, uh, this specification content that we assessed on each paper will be provided in a specification order, not um, question order, the higher tariff questions will draw from these topics, um, advanced information will not be provided for the assessment of methods in context, so that is an important one. Topics not included on the list may still be assessed in lower tariff 
or synoptic questions. Um, so Eleanor is asking what um, exam board this covers. This is a joint announcement from all exam boards. So all exam boards get together and um, agree this all together. And this was announced, I think it was Thursday evening. GCSE Sociology, right. Um, a list of topics from the specification that will be assessed on each paper in specification order, um, not in question order, high tariff questions drawn on these topics. Topics not included on the list may still be assessed in low tariff, multiple choice or synoptic questions. Um, so I will post the link for this in the description, it's a very long document, but the easiest place to find it is just by um, Google searching or to go on the um, Twitter page of the joint JCQ, Joint Committee on Qualifications. Right, let's go for maths next. Lots of you are asking for math. I've already had a look at maths. It doesn't look hugely useful. What I'm going to do once I finish these lives is do like really short snappy little videos for each um, individual one so that um, you can go through um, and look on my page and then pick just the ones that you actually want to do. Right, um, A-level maths. List of specification and content will be assessed in each section on each paper. Approximate specification content order, not question order. Topics not explicitly stated on the list may still be applicable to synoptic questions. So, um, again, not hugely useful. Triple science, science, where is the list, go through, GCSE, da 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 da, um, right, science, a list of, this is all really, really similar, um, a list of questions of the topics in specification order, not in question order, Topics not included in the list for assessment may still appear in low tariff or linked content questions. So lots of um, things that are coming up saying that they're also really similar. So A level psychology, religious studies, blah, blah, blah. this is very right. A level. Um, advanced information will provide a list of topics from the specification content that will be assessed in each paper in specification order, not in question order. Advanced information will not be provided for the assessment of research methods in any examined components. Content not listed in the advanced information may still be applicable when responding to synoptic questions. So this applies to all examples. This is um, common across all examples. They all got together and um, agreed this so that like just because I'm reading that AQA document means that it is applicable to all examples. Um, they all got together and with the Joint Qualifications Committee or the Joint Committee on Qualifications, the JCQ, GQT, um, and agreed this together. So this is kind of like um, a thing that has been agreed. Right, GCSE Psychology. GCSE Psychology. Um, list of topics from the specification content will be assessed in each paper in specification order, not in question order. Advanced information will not be provided for the assessment of research methods in any examined component. So this is all really, really similar. Lots of um, things that are coming up. Right, GCSE drama and media. Let's go and find those and I will read those out for you. Media. Um, advanced information will be provided in specification set media forms and products. So that's important to be assessed in each session and the area of the theoretical framework media context they will be assessed against. So that was the media, let's go find drama for you. Fortunately these are in alphabetical order so I can just scroll through and find stuff. Once I've done drama I'll do English because English is actually um, quite interesting. Advanced information will be provided for the written paper, component one, understanding drama, Section B, study of set play only. Advanced information will set out the start and end points of a section from each of the set texts. The specific extract that will be assessed in the exam will be taken from that section. So that is actually quite a helpful thing that they are doing for drama, that they are saying it is just going to be this section 
that um, is going to be assessed. So I'm going to pop down to English uh, literature because this is um, interesting and actually kind of useful. It's kind of like the most useful thing I think so far um, out of all of the ones that have come up. So English literature, advanced information will be provided for paper one, section A, Shakespeare, and indicate the act from which the extract is taken, which is much more useful than we're getting from the other subjects because um, it's telling you it is this um, act, you don't need to worry about the rest of the play. Now you might need to like link out, not too sure on how English literature exams go, you might need to like refer to past or kind of like later events when you're talking about stuff, I don't know. Um, but you will know which act your English stuff is coming from. Unlike science, where it's kind of like, they're gonna give you a list in like rank order or specification order of what is going to be on um, the, the, the paper, but anything else may be assessed. So additional maths. I'm going wrong way through the alphabet. That was not helpful. Um, advanced information will list the specification content that will be assessed on each paper in specification content order, not in question order. The content will be grouped and presented by broad topic and then further detail. For example, geometry, that would be the broad topic, further detail will be geometric proof. And that is covered for kind of like all maths. Geography, um, blah, blah, blah. right. Advanced information will be provided for all core and optional content in component one. Advanced information will list the specification content to be assessed in the exams. The information will list the content headings and their association contexts, as well as the skills from the skills list. They will be presented in specification order, not in question order. Um, responses should draw upon other areas of specification content where relevant. So again, that's very similar to other things where it's kind of like, um, you've got to link so um list of topics um and then drawing on other things so a level sciences there are a few let me just pop and find that for you so all of the sciences are the same it doesn't matter which particular flavor of science we are talking about here Advanced information will provide a list of four to eight topics from the specification to be assessed on each paper. The list will be in rank order by contribution to the overall mark for the paper, with the topics with the most marks listed first, which is nice. Topics not included on the list may still be assessed in low tariff, multiple choice or synoptic questions, which is not hugely helpful because... Um, you basically still means you have to revise everything and they're giving you a list of which ones that kind of like the most marks um but you still have to revise everything so this came out late on thursday and this is just giving us a brief overview of what they're going to tell us um what they're going to tell us in um february so that is uh what is happening basically um are there anyone else got any particular things gcse's at the moment are not cancelled this is just telling us about the advanced information um if no one has any like particular things i've already done english literature what i'm going to do now is stop these and then start doing loads of like little shorts and then putting them up as quickly as i can um, so specific ones, so you can go to my profile and then kind of like just look for GCSE English Literature um, or A-Level Chemistry and you should be able to find all of those. They're going to be up quicker on TikTok than on um, YouTube Shorts. So that'll be the place to find them. Change Online, they're on all the exam boards websites and they're on the um, JCQ website as well. So this is not the advanced information, this is advice about the advanced information. It's advanced information, summaries and guidance for summer 2022. 
there you go, can you see that? Look at that absolutely thrilling title. And just because I'm reading out the one from AQA, it is um, common across all the exam boards. So you can just go and Google that. Um, all right, my lovelies, um, does, oh, one question, does every school still need to do three sets of marks? Yes, it, yes, that is the advice from the government that you need to do three sets of marks because um, if exams are cancelled, then uh, you, you need to have a set of um, marks to, to fall back on. Um, but what I'm going to do now is make all the like individual certificate videos so then you can go add back and like search through like, TikTok for me easier one today. Um, and then just pick out the individual information that you want. So bye bye my lovelies. I will see you um